Can't stop, ain't stop, too hot. Came out like the daughter of Leah and Tupac. And I popped from the jump, ain't nobody too shocked. And I'm out collecting rollies, you save up for G-Shock. Got a bag from the label, I invested and I flipped that. I should write a book on how I motherfucking did that. Everything I put in, I get right back. Got long money, I ain't in it for a quick stack. Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I'll be showcasing this super bomb ponytail with the braided front look. And to start everything off, I'm just sectioning off the first half of my hair. And then I wanted to do a section from eyebrow point to eyebrow point. But you'll see later that I ended up extending it. And these are the two products that I'll be using for this video. Actually, those are the only two products that I ended up using along with Touchdown Edge Control. And here I'm just extending that space because I realized that all of those braids were not going to fit in the little space that I originally had. And you want to clean up your parts using some shining gem. That's how you get the ultimate cleanest parts ever. And my hair isn't even blow dried at this point. It's just old and super stretched. And you just want to part. And you can do as many or as little braids as you want. Mine really ended up being crooked when it was all said and done. But it was still super cute. So take your time when parting so that your braids can be on point. And some people will add hair here. I'm not adding here, y'all know I can't feed in on myself, so I'm just gonna do them as taut as possible without killing my head. Once your braids are in, you just want to go ahead and slick your hair up into a ponytail. I noticed that it was a little hard to keep the mini braids on the outsides exposed and still slick my hair upright. So be careful when doing that that you don't cover up your mini braids on the exterior. Now for the unboxing of this product, it came with a silk bag as well as a plastic storage bag and some literature as far as how to care for the hair. Um, it also came with a cosmetic bag, which was really different, came with some clips. And I was just saying here that I never seen a hair company do this, like they really showed out, gave me a brush, comb, and all that other good stuff. The part of this hair piece that's genuine is that it almost looks like a lace closure and you comb it on both sides and then use a drawstring so you can really get it to uniquely fit to how you have your bun and your base so that it looks super natural. So what I'm doing is just braiding my hair back and then I'm going to curl it under and secure it with a couple of bobby pins before adding in my hair piece. And then I'm just moisturizing my hair with some leave-in conditioner just so that it's actually protected and it's not dry underneath what's supposed to be a protective style. person you'll notice in a second that i got too excited to continue doing a voiceover in this video so the voiceover is coming to an end but you just want to wrap around your drawstring secure that with some bobby pins and then take some of the hair and wrap it around the base so that it looks super natural i was supposed to do a voiceover this whole video but i gotta talk about it right now i think my favorite part about this style is that your edges don't have to be super perfect because the ponytail isn't super perfect it's kinky curly but it doesn't feel heavy. It's so lightweight. 
OMG. And they have this technology on it to where like you fit it to how you want. It's no wrapping around like it is with tracks. There's no gluing. It's like you comb your piece on, pull that string, and you're out the door. This is going to be my bestie in hair school. <laughs> wow. I'm, I'm very impressed. I'm more impressed than I thought I would be. I don't have my metal tail comb to clean this up the way I would like, but I'm gonna tie it down with a scarf for a few seconds just so y'all can see it, and then we'll come back. And here's the length. Child, what? That's cute, and this is a new look for me. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Another thing I love is that they give you the storage bags to keep it in, to keep it nice and not tangled. Plastic and the silk. I am just here for this look. The only negative thing that I have to say about this ponytail is that right here, you up in here, you can kind of see through the tracks. Yeah, because the hair gets thinner up top. And like I said, the hair is so lightweight. It almost feels like the equivalent to the weight and the lightness of braiding hair but it doesn't tangle like braiding hair and it's not shedding out like braiding hair it's barely shedding anything which is really good for this kinky curly hair once my camera gets focused again i will do my outro oh it's wednesday and i feel like this is gonna last to the end of the week without any issues but we're gonna see what happens all right so if you like this look, if you like the idea of this ponytail, I, like I said, I love the technology of it, then definitely check out Dola Hair. I will leave all of the information as well as the links to this ponytail below. And they also have different textures, like they have a curly one, they have, like if you don't want it to be this kinky or if you want more of a curly look, then there are options. So those will all be linked below. Don't forget to like this video if you did enjoy it. All together, it took about 25 minutes. I know you all like to know how long these things take. So I would just allot 30 minutes for this style. And it's just like that. And this style is super easy to do. You can wear it in a braid. You could wear, I could put it in a bun. <laughs> but yeah, you have some options. I hope y'all love it as much as I do because you'll be seeing it in some upcoming videos. Like I said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye. This is the first time I'm filming since I've been back from the islands. And can we just get some appreciation for this tan? That's about to be even more elevated from Miami and from the honeymoon. I'm just here for it, okay?